welcome back to my channel let me first start off by saying i apologize for the lack of uploads i am putting out i'm currently in the process of moving so that's why there's not been many videos from me and only things you guys have seen are my ipsy unboxings but that will change very soon so yes but today is going to be my march ipsy unboxing video so without further ado let's just get right on into it this month's ipsy bag looks like this it's super super pretty um on it it's like this it almost reminds me of the january ipsy bag as far as the outer detailing goes it's like a mesh detailing but not really mesh you know maybe like a honeycomb or something like that but the outer detailing part is just black and then the actual bag color itself is a pastel pink and i am in love with this color i love things along the lines of pastels and copper and gold and that has like all of it in one and i am obsessed and then the back of the bag is just a plain suede material and the bag actually is supposed to be like this it looks like this but you know you can just unfold it yourself so yeah so opening up my ipsy bag the first thing that i have in here is a leave-in conditioner and this is by the brand curl keeper and it claims to soften rough dry hair i'm excited to try this out this is my first hair product that I received in my Ipsy bag so and I have curly naturally curly hair so I'm definitely going to be trying this out and seeing how I like it. The next thing that I got in this bag is an is another eyeshadow this one is by the brand INT Cosmetics and it is in the shade Goddess Gold. It actually matches the bag as a pastel pink color. So it's like, it's a shimmery pastel pink is what I'm seeing. And the pan of this is actually freaking huge, guys. Like, compared to my other single shadows that go in a Z palette, this one is absolutely huge. It, <gasps> my finger just dented it. Ah! a super super pretty color let's see wow if you see this i could probably use this as a highlight as well if you guys can see it's just like a pretty pastel pink color it's like the pink is almost kind of muted so it's not a it's not an in your face pink i could probably definitely use this as a highlight just because it looks so pretty on my skin tone i am super excited about this and i'm super excited that ipsy keeps sending me single eyeshadows or eyeshadows in general because i love eyeshadows i love experimenting with them and yeah next thing i got in this bag is an eyeliner and this is by the brand model co it's just a black regular pencil liner that has a retractable top and this liner is super super black and i am all for super black liners i'm not gonna swatch it for you guys because i'm sure you, you all know what a black liner looks like and the last two things that i got in my bag this month ipsy actually sent me an email like probably three weeks before the march bags were supposed to come out saying that i had been selected as like a test group to receive a certain product and it was along those lines i guess to see if people will actually like it and to see if they're actually gonna start doing it. Something like that. And in the email, I got a chance to pick from five items. I had to pick which item I wanted the most and then if I can check all that apply, they would try to at least give me one of the items that I selected. And I actually got two of the items that I selected. So I'm super excited because both of these are ones that I wanted super super bad the first one that i chose was my first choice and this was the elizabeth mott blending brush it's still in the plastic because i just don't want to ruin it but the brush has a brown oh not a brown it has a blue handle and then a copper gold tip or a top whatever you want to call it and then this blending brush is more so tapered compared to my other blending brushes that i have from morphe so i'm excited about that and this is super 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 soft guys like when i tell you this is a soft blush brush and then the second thing that i got that i actually requested to get is this tart tardis lip paint it's just a mini one and this is in the shade vibin now this is a red um lip paint this isn't the one i necessarily wanted but after swatching it i think it is a pretty color when i look at this i think of this as a 
This is probably more so of an orangey red than like a deep red or a red red. Um, it does have orange and orange re reflex to it, so. So if you guys can see it um, as it's drying, it definitely does have an orange reflex to it, but it's not like a um, overpowering orange undertone to it to where it's like an orange, more so an orange based red. It still is a red, but it just has a little bit of an orange tone to it, which I guess is fine with me because yesterday when I swatched it, I didn't really see the orange. So that is all that I received in my Etsy bag this month. I hope you guys really liked and enjoyed getting to see what was in it as much as I did. If you guys want me to do like a tutorial or a video incorporating some of these products, just let me know that down below. Just let me know in the comments down below. I would definitely love to do that for you guys. And yes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really liked and enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.